Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. And yeah, lately, I just haven't been in the mood for making videos. So I put a community post out there uh, earlier this week and I was talking about how, you know, possibly that, you know, I'm gonna probably wind up, you know, losing the homestead or moving away or doing something. And I wasn't trying to be vague at all. I was just really frustrated with the situation I'm dealing with with the local government because I feel that they are being biased and they have failed me. And what that situation entails is I have a uh, person that has the property next to me. I have a person that has a property next to me and he purchased this property and it's not a property that he resides on. This property, is sure purpose is to operate and run his construction business out of now when i bought this property i put everything i had in this property every penny pretty much everything i had to give my family a better way a life and leave something for my kids and to raise them somewhere that's wholesome and pure and this is definitely affecting that plan all right a little about me i don't talk about myself too much but for those who are new to the channel, I, uh, I served in the Marine Corps and after coming back, I have some, I have some demons, man. I, and you know, I fight them on a daily and, and motivation and things of that nature. They, they don't come to me as easy as others. Um, fast forwarding, fast forward to moving to Texas. I moved to Texas and had a great life down there. Uh, I had a, a friend down there who he had a, a small little ranch. Uh, it was like 40 or 80 acres. I don't remember, it was quite some time ago. But I just remember going there all the time and I just loved it. And I found peace out there on his property, seeing the stars and watching meteor showers, having a couple beers and talking about what he was gonna be doing on his property, what crops he was gonna be planting, uh, the, the different kinds of flowers and stuff like that. He was uh, he was putting out for the different kinds of wildlife and it just intrigued me and i started watching homesteading channels and i started getting the, the itch to get my own property and i started looking for it down there because i did enjoy texas i love texas i had a lot of great friends down there well my my father passed away and i couldn't stand the fact that he passed away and i wasn't there and i didn't get to spend all the time with him that I should have as because he was battling cancer and um, needs to say uh, it was time to come home back to Nebraska so I came to Nebraska searched for work I got a job uh, my I left my family down in Texas for about six months so I could secure a place up here to live and I secured this place because I wanted to start that dream I wanted to start that uh, mental emotional healing from things in the past and I wanted this property to be my therapy and that therapy has done great for me uh, I'm definitely a person if I don't stay busy have projects I will easily fall into a hole sit on the couch and give up uh, I'm sorry that's just who I am you guys might not see that but usually the people who are the funniest are usually the people that are dealing with the most stuff now this all started about two years ago I'm within coming on a year dealing with the county on how to address it first when the neighbor moved in or the property owner moved in he said he was doing upgrades and property improvements and that's why that's why the sounds that i was hearing of dump trucks and skid loaders and backup alarms and and all this stuff that's why i was hearing all that the funny thing about this is where i work i hired a contractor he was a subcontractor to do the work I actually introduced myself, met him, very nice guy. But when it comes to uh, respecting the local laws and my situation and my way of life over here, I basically got told read between the lines. And I that doesn't sit well with me because these laws are put in place, these zoning laws are put in place to protect our way of life and how, how things affect us and where we're living. Now, it goes both ways. 
I have to abide by laws. I can't have so many animals because of a zoning law here. I have to be careful on what I can and can't do so I don't create an issue for my neighbors around me. And I don't disrupt or ruin their quality of life because they've worked hard for the homes and stuff that they have around me. The guy up there, he doesn't seem to think that way. The reason for it is because he's just looking at it as a business. He doesn't live there. He actually rents the property out and he lives in a gated community elsewhere. So he lives in a nice regulated uh, with covenants, nice gated community. But the zoning laws that protect us, he doesn't seem to care about because the only thing people comprehend is a freaking dollar sign. And before we get any further with this, you guys might think that this is pretty petty or maybe I'm just being a Karen, but you guys don't understand I have I live in a rural area in the country, but not so remote that there's not other houses around me. I do have neighbors. We all respect each other. The effect that the, he's having on my property goes like this. The weekday starts six in the morning, crew shows up to his property. They all pull up in their trucks, sometimes six, half dozen. I don't know, I can't really count them. They all start up every piece of equipment that they own in the winter time because they're diesels and they let them run until about 7:30 in the morning that's every piece of equipment that they own is running loud diesels knocking so and so forth noise all through the woods i can hear that drumming through my house and then you have the situation of dump trucks and heavy equipment coming in and out of the property all day long now if somebody was just coming home and going to work that's not a big deal that is a reasonable accommodation and I wouldn't really care. The other thing I'm having an issue with is, well, they got a commercial dumpster over there. Everybody cleans their trucks out after lunch. Everybody cleans the shop out, so on and so forth. There's food bags and lunch and whatever else you put in a dumpster. You all know how it goes. And the local wildlife is having a feast on this dumpster. Now they've tried to keep it closed because I've talked to them about it because their trash is blowing into my property and it's bringing a lot of cats, raccoons, and rodents around. And uh, you know, you have issues with rats and stuff like that, which were never a problem before. That's another thing how it's affecting us. And it's just ruining the quality of life for me and my property. You might wanna know how close this is. Like, how far is this neighbor away? Well, I'll show you. We're basically standing in my front yard and it's all right there. Here's his outbuilding, structure houses. He lives up top there, drives down. He has a whole huge parking lot down there. We won't even get into the fact that he expanded his property over my fence. He buried my fence so he can have a parking lot out there. It was property I wasn't gonna use anyways because it's all on a hill and he basically went on an ingrade and he went like this and he buried my fence. Okay, I'm not that petty. But regardless, the guy has no respect for anybody or anything when it comes to his neighbors. Working with the county, with this Chris, planning and zoning, like I said, he said he had to get uh, sit up there, observe what's going on, and then he will issue a citation, a cease and, des cease and desist citation issued by the sheriff. Um, I was like, great, this might come make be an end to all this stuff I'm going through. The problem with that is I've been getting the runaround. Every email I get, or I send, respond back, I've seen nothing, oh, this is where we're at. Well, we did send them a letter, we did do this. And finally, well, I have people or person I know that, it, that's a straight shooter. And this person who works in this government is just telling me, Mike, this is what's going on. And what's going on is there's a planning and zoning committee consist of six people. They call them the six pack, which is really kind of funny, lame actually. Well, they decided they're not gonna enforce the zoning law because it might affect his livelihood. Well, the guy obviously has money. He bought half million dollar property just to run his business out of him. Wrote it off, so on and so forth. Saying that, 
I, this is where my money's at. I suck my money into a better life. I plan on contacting the local news and hopefully that they can help me shed some light on what I'm calling corruption in our local government because this is small town folks. I live in Blair, Nebraska, Washington County, Nebraska. The county is who I'm dealing with, not Blair, the city. I'm dealing with the county officials and they, uh, they're like Budweiser, man. They're just lawless. I guarantee you, everybody who's watching this has had a moment in their life where the system has failed them. And there, and you felt like there was nothing you can do about it, and you had to roll over, and you had to take it. And there was nothing you can do. You remember that frustration you had, that, that feeling of like, just, you, how am I going to beat this? Well, it's just the, it's the government, it's the, it's the man, and, and uh, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a voice. I don't have a, a strong enough uh, position or, or a place in this community to, uh, to stand up and, and really make things right. And that is the great thing about social media right now. We're great in numbers, people. And I really could use your numbers right now to fight this. Because obviously it's a, it's a big issue through the homesteading communities where zoning laws or, or people or neighbors are, they have issues and we're not feuding. It's not a feud matter. It's a, it's a matter of what's right and wrong. But I do plan on meeting with these people. And I did tell them I was going to make a video. They didn't seem to care. They was like, Psh whatever didn't get any response back to the email saying i was gonna you know shed some light on this situation uh i was gonna call on my uh my uh youtube community to possibly help me out and give me a voice and psh, they don't give a crap so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put all their names down below in the description i'm gonna put their email address their name their position obviously the county and the state and everything we work in and I'm asking you guys to throw a phone call out there and throw a couple emails out there and tell them like, hey, that uh, property over there on Sunny Slope Drive. Yeah, that's what my drive's called. I heard what you guys are doing to him. Saw his YouTube video. It ain't right. And uh, just got to make him feel uncomfortable. You don't have to tell him that you're not local. You just got to tell him that you're upset too. I hope you guys understand and I'm hoping that you guys are able to help me and i'm sorry if i'm ranting on this video i hate bringing any kind of negative energy with uh with my channel and onto you guys because you guys don't come here for the negative energy nobody wants to watch a channel going moo, 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 moo. i mean nobody wants that but honestly i'm asking for your help because i just feel powerless in this situation and i know that i got a lot of great supporters out there and i know that if anybody can do it you guys can help me out with this now I have to get working on this car because she ain't ran and she ain't well she ain't gone anywhere since we uh we crashed her in that snowbank and uh i gotta get her running because we're sending her down the road so i appreciate you guys watching like i said i'll leave everything down below in the links i got animals to tend to i got this car to work on and uh i'm gonna try to get some more videos out there and try to catch up for all this push these feelings aside so appreciate you guys watching See you on the next episode.